spin, but the slowest paced team in the league, Utah, they like to play it ugly. Kobe, first shot. Coming off of a game, 19 points the other evening. Roy Hibbert has an offensive rebound. He, the 20-year-old. Here is the Raul Neto. Back to Lyles. Well, again, excuse me, this starts out like the last time these two teams faced it. They need a team able to put the ball in the basket. Well, there's Rudy Gobert. He doesn't have to go far to get it up and in the basket, but he's going to be fouled by Roy Hibbert. And free throws to Rudy Gobert. And you know that time should, uh, probably should have made the layup. Uh, obviously should have made the layup, but came up a little short. But Gobert with that length of his able to clean it up to get fouled. Now here's uh, Rudy. Just recently missed 18 games. He was third last year in the NBA in blocks. Currently second if he qualified. But he hasn't played enough games. The stifled tower. The French rejection. Well, he has really made a name for it. Yeah. Was their, yeah, it was their first game under 73% from the line since Christmas. Neto, Hobie, standing on the line for a long two. Clarkson, oh, he got in there very deep. That one just rolled off the rim, and Gobert has the rebound. D'Angelo goes baseline now to Randall. That's a good fake. Now he's a to the bench and gets the basketball. A reliable on the offensive end. He has uh, six points to lead the late 50% junior. Gobert, offensive rebound, stayed with it as they beat well, Mark Black. Atari. Now 17 again. Oh, Russell fakes throwing it in. Here's Burke. Misses with. He has the rebound away from Randall. Blows the layup. Tipped up and in. Kobe Bryant fan didn't get a chance to play against him last week. He certainly is tonight. His shot is off. Rebound. Gobert stays with it. Count it foul as Hibbert couldn't beat the Stifle Tower. And that's one that you have to beat him because you... Hibbert had inside position, both about the same size. You can't let him come from behind and get the rebound. And that's what happened. He gets a three-point opportunity. Find a body, put your little booty on him first, then go get the ball off the glass. Gobert averages nearly 10 rebounds a game. Look at that, 8-8 eight and eight already in this first half. 56% being shot by Utah. Eight to shoot. D'Angelo's going to let it go as Neto Kobe on its way. It's nearly falls down. Now they've got to get into it. They're in a bit of a scramble mode with Hood. But they've got Gobert in very deep. And he gets away from Staples Center shooting 3 for 21 until tonight. So it's nice to see him, as Chris just mentioned. Knocked down two shots this evening. On the road as Gobert will shoot another free throw. By the way, only one player in the game in double figures, and that is Trey Burke. He's four out of six in his 11 minutes on the floor. Roy comes to get it. Stops the dribble. Now to Ryan Kelly working on Hood. That's two two players going at each other. Okay. Clarkson now to Brown. Oh, he goes right around Gobert. Reverse layup. Boy. Great effort. Just couldn't finish. That's for sure in the second half as he just played minimal minutes uh, after uh, before hurting the knee. That's lob under the Gobert. So not a good start for the Lakers here in quarter number three. Cam of the uh, Jazz running dribble penetration and throw it up and let Rudy, Rudy Gobert throw it down. Good set up by Gordon Hayward. At Portland. So a quick trip there. Clarkson, Tibber. He can't settle in. Also a decent rebounding game for him with six. And he hit the glass a little bit more. Clarkson gets denied underneath. So now the Lakers will have it out of bounds with 11 to shoot. Uh, two players there, Gobert and Lyles there. Hassan Whiteside is so crazy. Whiteside blocked, what, 11 last night in their game? Here is <laughs> gets control of it. Then. Right, we're going to have to get some uh, transition baskets, early offense, because we not to be as far more pressurable in the interior is. Julius Randle finds out, trying to shoot the little jump hook. And go well, again, this apparently is a bad matchup for the Lakers because they were awful against Utah last week, and they're equally as bad here tonight, scoring 40 points. And we're five minutes already into the third quarter. Jazz currently on a 14-2 run to open the third, and we're not sure if we're going to see Kobe again. The key, you know, seven minutes and 15 seconds to play in the third. The Jazz have already put up 74, make it 75 on 54% shooting from the field and 63 from behind the yard. That that's just uh, yeah. speaks volumes for the other end of the floor yeah. for the Lakers. Yeah, and offensively, this is the second year in a row that Utah's held the Lakers to their season low. And so upset. He, he reinserted a couple of starters. Think about that. Gobert is back in by Kelly. 
Gobert, as Stu mentioned, just was inserted into the game. Tries to go one way or the other. Certainly good. Has been quiet by the team. And last four against the Lakers, he's averaged 25. He's got 14. With himself, and that's one way to get better, Stu. Get those older brothers getting out there with the older guys. Uh, a little easier to get better quicker. Yeah. <laughs> Older brothers always seem to they want, do one thing. They make you a little bit tougher, that's for sure. Another, Five blocks for Another rejection there. by the, what you call him? Did you ever ask him? I, I think he, no, but I think. you got to ask him. You can't be using stuff that he doesn't like. It's been pretty common. But oh. use. Hey, the French. Here is D'Angelo. Rebound taken by Rudy Gobert. We've got 536 to play here in the game. And Rudy Gobert has dominated. Both ends of the floor. Yeah, it's good.